hell? Been a pretty freaking long while since I've been taking it out like this. <coughs> Still, I'm sick. My uh, back is in the room, so. Yeah, I just got a pie stack it. Hmm. Now, what's them to do? And I'm pretty sure I have plenty of time for that. that you mentioned, yeah, so why not go back? And see if we can help out. Well, I probably should be on my glasses for this. Okay, let's see if there's anything for sale. You looking to buy some supplies? Hmm. I could probably sell that. Then I can have the marksman. Uh, did I even give anything away? I kind of doubt that I did. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> um, I mean, it's sort of kind of helping them in a way. Bring them in the way that you just know it's not really going to help it. Yeah, it's not really gonna help them at all. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really find mature to a guy. Hmm. There's the smaller things you can buy them, but that's why it. I don't really have much. I'm not sure I should sell some things that I need to put their card. No. Another satisfied customer. Please. Okay, I just that music starts playing. I'm just out there.
Yeah. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? I'm not the enemy if that's why you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figured their friends are out for revenge. What is it? Oh, nineteen really helps. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. And I do love using the weapons I pay for. And a shark carbine. Pretty sure this might just be way over the head in weaponry. As in, I use this, it's just gonna take them out, no problem at mm -hmm. all. One thing we really talk to everyone in town that makes the ETP. Which, if they turn to bend him, it would just make it a really tough. Hi there. Stay to your own good springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us, so if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. 
Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Wait, how many cats do I have? Five, Fifty-nine thousand seven hundred and seventy-four, and I'd say I would throw on cats. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we can stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. Pete do for you. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better leave it buried. Safer that way. Bad trouble. Welcome. The one in the fancy suit seems to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Told you before, it's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. <coughs> Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. I'm pretty sure I can do some good at them. I think the items are in the mailboxes. 